A good day to everyone. In this video presentation, the Group 7 will present you the steps in evaluating the following limits. And the presenters for our report is Cesar Sarion, Gerard Mosqueda, Claude Arboleda, and Darrell Buena. Now let's start the presentation. Evaluate the following limits. The limit of 2 constant e raised to the power of 3x plus 4 as x approaches to negative 1. Since we have the value of x, which is negative 1, our value of f of x is negative 1. We are just going to substitute negative 1 to x. Then we will get the 2 constant e raised to the power of 3 times negative 1 plus 4. Simplify the exponent, which is equal to 2 constant e minus i raised to negative 3 plus 4 negative 3 plus 4 will be equal to 1. Then simplify the term 2 constant e raised to 1. It will, If you use your powerful calculator, it will be equal to 5.4365-63657. Therefore, the limit of 2, e, 2 constant e raised to 3x plus 4 as x approaches to negative 1 is 5.4365-63657. Evaluate the following limits. The limit of natural logarithm of x plus 7 as x approaches to negative 6. The limit of natural logarithm of x plus 7 is equals f of negative 6. f of negative 6 is equals natural logarithm of negative 6 plus 7. Since we have the value of x, our f of x is negative 6. Substitute the negative 6 to the x, then we will get natural logarithm negative 6 plus 7. And simplify the negative 6 plus 7, and we will get 1 is equals to f of negative 6 equals natural logarithm of 1. The remaining is natural logarithm of 1, and the answer is 0. Therefore, the limit of natural logarithm x plus 7 as x approaches to negative 6 is 0. The limit of logarithm 4x plus 1 with the base of 3 as x approaches to 2. f of 2 is equals logarithm 4 and 2 plus 1 with the base of 3. We substitute nothing in 2 to the x and we will get f of 2 is equals logarithm 4 and 2 plus 1 with the base of 3 is equals f of 2 equals logarithm 8 plus 1 with the base of 3 and f of 2 is equals logarithm of 9 with the base of 3 we will get logarithm 9 with the base of 3 which is the remaining is equals to 2 because to get the logarithm multiply it by itself to get the value 3 times 3 is 9 which you see use the lawan 3 para makuha yung 9 therefore the limit of logarithm 4x plus 1 with the base of 3 as x approaches to 2 is equals to 2 for number 4 we have the limit of sine x as x approaches to 25 pi over 6 since we need to evaluate this problem we can say that the sine x is equals to the function of 25 pi over 6. Now let's start for our solution. First, we need to substitute the 25 pi over 6 to our x. Then it will become sine 25 pi over 6. For the next step, we're gonna change the pi sign beside the 25 with 180 because it is the value of the regions. Then we just need to solve 25 times 180 over 6, which is 750. Then, the final will be the sine 750. Then we need to find it in our unit circle, which is 1 half. And our final answer is 1 half. For number 5, we have the limit of second times x plus pi over 3 as x approaches to pi over 2. Since we need to evaluate this problem, 
it means that second times x plus pi over 3 is equal to the function of pi over 2. Now let's start our solution. We need to substitute the pi over 2 because it is the value of our x. Then it will become pi over 2 plus pi over 3. If we solve those two, it will become pi pi over 6. And we have our second here. So we need to solve it. After that, it will become 1 over negative 3 pi all over 6. And if you use your calculator, you can find the final answer, which is negative 2 square root of 3 over 3 or negative 1.1547. Problem number 6. The limit of 7 raised to 2x minus 7 minus 5 as x approaches to 3. Since we have the value of x, which is 3, our value of f of x is 3. Substitute 3 to x, then we will get 7 raised to 2 times 3 minus 5. Simplify the exponent, the exponent, which is equal to 7 raised to 6 minus 7, then subtract, which is equal to 7 raised to negative 1 minus 5. Then simplify the term 0.14 minus 5, we will get the answer of negative 4.86. Therefore, the limit of 7 raised to 2x minus 7 minus 5 as x approaches to 3 is equal to negative 4.86. Let's evaluate the limit 3 times 1 half raised to the power of x plus 3 as x approaches to negative 6. Since we have the value of x which is negative 6, the value of f of x is negative 6. First, let's substitute the negative 6 to the x. Then we will have 3 times 1 half raised to the power of negative 6 plus 3. We're done to the substitution. Now, let's simplify the exponent negative 6 plus 3 which is negative 3 then simplify 1 half raised to the power of negative 3 then we will have 8 then multiply the remaining term which is 3 times 8 which is equal to 24 therefore the limit of 3 times 1 half raised to the power of x plus 3 as x approaches to negative 6 is 24. Now let's evaluate number 8. The limit 5 logarithm x minus 4 with the base of 2 as x approaches to 32. Since we have the value of x which is 32, our value of f of x is 32. Then substitute 32 to x. We'll get 5 logarithm 32 minus 4 with the base of 2. Then simplify logarithm 32 with the base of 2. We'll get 5. But how do we get the 5? We just need to multiply 2 to get 32. So 2 times 2 is equal to 4 times 2 is equal to 8 times 2 is equal to 16 times 2 to get the 32. So, the remaining is 5 times 5 minus 4. Multiply first, 5 times 5 is equal to 25. Then subtract negative 4. 25 minus 4 is equal to 21. Therefore, the limit 5 logarithm x minus 4 with the base of 2 as x approaches to 32 is equal to 21. For number 9, we need to evaluate a problem which is the limit of 4 times the tangent of 3x minus 1 as x approaches to negative 5 pi over 12. Since we need to evaluate this problem, we can say that the limit of 4 times the tangent of 3x minus 1 is equal to the function of negative 5 pi over 12. Now let's start our solution. 
First, we need to substitute the negative 5 pi over 12 to the x. Second, we need to multiply 3 to negative 5 pi over 12, then we will get negative pi pi over 4. For the third step, we will find the tangent of negative pi pi over 4 in our unit circle, and it's the negative square root of 2 over 2 all over the square root of 2 over 2. For the fourth step, we need to solve for the tangent that we find, and it's equal to negative 1. Now let's multiply 4 to negative 1, and the answer is negative 4. Then subtract it to positive 1, and the final answer will be negative 5. Not the motherfucking